Hi, this is Don. Um, I have became interested in the mitt lighter gardening method from watching LDS Prepper. But I am a veganic gardener, which means that I don't like to grow my food in either chemicals or animal poop. I don't add any animal uh, products, including worm casings, to my garden although I don't try to exterminate the worms that occur there naturally, nor do I try to encourage them. But anyway, th this is my experiment, and the first, uh, my experiment in doing mitt lighter as veganically as I can. And so I'm going to explain something uh, about how I'm going to do this. I'm going to, these three bags here are my sources of N, P, and K, which don't come from animals and can be made from plants. I did my best to get organic versions that the, they claimed were either mined in the ground or made from uh, plants and not made from uh, the petroleum-based methods that they could make them from. But anyway, on the left here, uh, we have urea, which is in, ur in human urine, 46%, uh, 0% P and K. Uh, urea does not alter the pH, uh, and it can be derived from plant sources, although most commercial urea might be... Uh, from petroleum, and uh, and and I don't like the idea of using your urine and, uh, because I don't want any animal waste at all, including human animal waste in, in the garden. Now, for for phosphorus, the middle number P, we ha I have uh, super rock phosphate, which has zero forty five zero. So on the left is 46%, on the next is 45%. And I'm going to show how you're going to end up with 16, 16, 16 from all of this. Now, the third one is potassium sulfate. Again, uh, they, they claim this is organic. And uh, from everything that I could read from the producer information it didn't violate my idea of being vi veganic and if it if this particular sample did there would be uh, other alternatives that that would not and and um, and then to the right here are the two things I add for mitt lighter uh, this would be the Epsom salts on the left and the mitt lighter packet on the right um, and now I'm going to have to dilute the three of these N, P, and K to make 16, 16, 16. And I plan to dilute with azomite. So um, I have to do more work here. And this is the introduction. I'm going to explain how it would be that you can combine these three to get 16, 16, 16 of veganic fertilizer to to start your mitt lighter okay now I've counted out uh, I've weighed out using this postage scale here you get from the <clears throat> post office and it weighs to tenths of an ounce and I did the math and I was going to try to explain the math <clears throat> but um, I'm a senior citizen and I had my advice to most senior citizens is get your grandkids to figure the proportions out to make 16, 16, 16. And I wouldn't be good at explaining it. Uh, Jacob, Jacob Barnett could explain it very quickly. But anyway, this is the urea, which is 8 ounces in the proportions we need. This is the uh, phosphate, which is... Uh, 7.92 ounces. This is the uh, potassium sulfate, which is 3.6 ounces. The azomite uh, is, is in this coffee can here, and what it looks like is 
this, the amount that I took out, and there are uh, two ounces, four, two pounds, 14.3 ounces of azomite, and this is the granular azomite. And this, uh, when I, so when I add this to this to this to this, and mix it up good, first I'll just add them in. I'm going to have four pounds of 161616 16, fertilizer to which the next step is going to be the the adding of the magnesium phosphate which is right here and the mint lighter packet which is over here and since mint light, lighter explains how to make 25 pounds of their mix uh, I'm making much less because I have a much smaller garden and uh, I'm going to mix this up and then do the math offline and calculate how much of the remaining two ingredients uh, it's going to be. Okay so now the coffee can contains four pounds of 16-16-16 fertilizer and Mitt Lighter wants you to put uh, 10 ounces of this for 25 pounds and since this is 4 pounds uh, it, it works out to about uh, m well <laughs> it's much less than a whole package so I add that and uh, it works out to 1 point uh, no 10.64 ounces of of uh, magnesium sulfate which is Epsom salt put that in there now once I shake this up mix it up it's the equivalent of the mitt lighter dry mix using azomite as the filler and that's what I'm going to put on my crops um, this is the best I've ever done on broccoli. This broccoli plant I just harvested about a week ago. And no notice that it it doesn't have hardly any insect damage. And now this one I'm going to harvest today. The leaves are a little bit droopy because we have high Santa Ana winds today. But I've never been able to get broccoli to, to do anything for me. And the little broccoli I had would go to seed very quickly and get all kinds of bugs and pests and uh, this just grew right up real fast in this very nutritious veganic uh, garden with uh, with a lot of azomite and and no animal poop in this garden and uh, it's mainly oak composted oak and bamboo leaves. This is a very healthy gone to seed arugula plant and uh, collard greens again without any uh, insect damage and I don't use any pest control but uh, the garden on the roof which is also veganic way way up there <laughs> Uh, it's beginning to succumb to pests because uh, if you don't harvest this stuff when it gets to be prime then it starts to to die back and then that attracts the pest beautiful purple uh, kale in the understory here and uh, here's some this regular kale and uh, some beans along here and so we're about to transition into the into the summer garden but anyway I've got to take off this broccoli here while it's still going to be good and wow I'm just amazed because this is my greatest gardening success and I should be and, and it's totally veganic and no chemicals and no poop, no bat guano or feather meal or uh, worm casings, maybe a few worm casings from the natural worms, but 
And of course there are a few dead gophers in there for people who like animal waste in their food. Because when the gophers get in here, I uh, dig up their holes with a pitchfork and leave the gophers buried, don't even look at them. But aside from that, this is a beautiful garden.